Susan G. Komen Foundation held its annual Washington, D.C. Race for the Cure on the National Mall. Marking its 26th year in the nation's capital, more than 15,000 runners and walkers took part in the Mother's Day weekend event. President and CEO Dr. Judith Salerno was joined on stage for the opening ceremony by founder and chair Nancy Brinker, multi-platinum international singer-songwriter Matt Goss, and WWE Hall of Famer Hulk Hogan, whose participation at the race continues a history of success between Coleman and WWE in raising awareness for the fight against breast cancer. Enjoy the video and our interviews from this amazing day with the Hulk. Hello guys, I'm Matt Goss and you are watching Inside Look. Yo Hulkamaniacs, Hulk Hogan here, the greatest of all times, and I'm jamming right now with Inside Look. So what you gonna do when Hulk Hogan and Inside Look run wild on you, brother? Today marks our annual Race for the Cure uh, in Washington, D.C. Um, 34 years ago, when my sister Susan Komen was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 33, she was my older sister, and asked me to cure the disease, I promised her I would, even if it took me the rest of my life, which it has. So for all these years, uh, now Susan Komen, through my work, but not just my work, it, thousands and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, it is now the largest breast cancer organization in the world. Um, we are the largest funder of breast cancer research. As importantly, we're the largest translator into community health and into clinics so that people have accessible, affordable care. We're not perfect yet, but it's all coming. We like to address the barriers to care in communities, and we continue to go every day. And today is about creating hope, it's about creating strength among people, and it's about creating more support for this important, this is a charity, make no mistake, we can't work, do our work unless people give to us, give us their hearts, their souls, and give us donations. And then we can do all the great things that we're set up to do and only we are set up to do. We're going to have one of the most important programs this fall. We're going to start to address the collection of big data for breast cancer. And we're going to do it with major institutions in, in the world, the major scientific and universities. Um, we are going to lead, as we have in every single sector, science, community health, disparities, everything that we do. You'll see, you'll see us out there a lot. And as October rolls around, it's going to be a very exciting month. And we're going to continue to push in this country for an increase in science funding. I mean, we can't get to the last lap of the race for the cure until we do. I lost my mum to cancer last year and uh, I wanted to find an organisation. When I wrote Strong, I knew that it was going to find a, a home. I knew that without question. There were a few people that wanted the song, but it wasn't about money to me. It wasn't about anything. It was about giving that song life and back to people that, that need it. And my mum used to listen to that. When I originally wrote that song, listened to it while she was going through chemotherapy and she would share it with other patients. And I just wanted to... Um, I wanted to, uh, and of course, a special you know, create a, create an anthem. And when I, when the Susan G. Cummins people uh, approached me, their commitment, their drive, their forward thinking was exactly what we were looking for. And uh, and I decided to give give 100% of the proceeds to Strong to Susan G. Kim, Susan G. Komen, um, to raise awareness and hopefully create some.
uplifting energy and also donations, so create donations so we can find a cure for this awful disease. Well, as you mentioned, Emilio Estefan, to me, I think Emilio and Gloria are two of the most humble people in the music industry. They're, they're multifaceted people, but whenever I've met Gloria or Emilio, there's complete and utter humility. They've done so much to their royalty in the Latin community, uh, and uh, me and Emilio are going to be making a record together, uh, which is going to be beautiful, and uh, Emilio has some wonderful ideas. Uh, we're working on some of really, really stunning songs, and I trust him implicitly. He's a, but he's a true gentleman, and he's a, there's no ego with Emilio. He's just one an everyday guy that happens to be uh, Latin royalty. couple of beautiful ladies in our family that have been affected by this horrible disease. My daughter's 27 years old. Anything I can do to come here and raise awareness or raise money to help beat this horrible disease and to put a bullet in it once and for all, I'm on that team. So I think it's very, very important that you use your means, who you are, the influence you have to help serve mankind, to help put an end to certain things such as breast cancer. So it's very important that I'm here. It's not the means, it's the ends. You know, people that have a certain amount of celebrity status, people that have a certain amount of influence in the world, that's all great as far as their means and what they do, but it's the end game that counts. It's how you help people, how you serve people. Men need to wake up and smell the coffee because the women are our foundation, the women are our energy, the women are our base, you know. They're the bond that holds the family unit together, so. Um, the men that aren't aware of this situation, you're going to be aware now because Hulk Hogan's on the team. Oh, well, I was a huge wrestling fan my whole life. I grew up in Tampa, Florida, and there were several great wrestlers that came through that I looked up to, but it was just a dream to be in the wrestling business, and then I started realizing that if I believed in myself, anything was possible. So at the end of the day, with a lot of hard work and you know, a lot of perseverance, I became a wrestler. Never dreamed my career would last this long and the fans would be so loyal. And at 61 years young, Hulkamania is still running wild. Brother, it's kind of fun. It's a rough life. It's a lot of traveling. There are certain guys that try to do this job and they already have a family, but it's much easier. You know, if you've got clear sailing and you don't, you're not married and you don't have kids, so you need to realize to do this job, it has to be your number one priority. Because to get in this business, there are people that, the people that are on top of this business, this is their only priority. So, you know, to get in this business, I would say you have to, it has to be in your blood. It has to be part of you. You just can't be a poser and make it in this business because it's 24 hours a day. Isn't the Hulk incredible? And he looks pretty good in pink, too. Washington, D.C., unfortunately, has the highest incidence and mortality rates of breast cancer in the country. Since its inception in 1990, funds raised from the D.C. Race for the Cure have provided more than $35 million for over 300 community grants for low-income, minority, and uninsured women. The Susan G. Komen Foundation is the world's largest breast cancer organization, funding more breast cancer research than any other nonprofit while providing real time help to those facing the disease. Please support your local breast cancer organization and don't forget to follow Inside Look TV online because we are everywhere for you. I'm Jane Ruby. I'll be looking for you next time.